Hello and welcome to your lesson on reproduction. Remember after you watch this slideshow or watch this video to uh, post at least one question. You can write the question while you're watching this or after you're done, but you must post one question uh, online underneath this video in Edmodo um, so I can check that you've actually watched the video. And the next day we'll try to answer some of your questions and you can even try to answer some of your classmates' questions as well. We'll be keeping track of how many people are answering. Eventually, uh, you should just go ahead with this on your own. So, reproduction has a lot. should make you think about a whole bunch of different things. I don't know. Maybe you're giggling, but don't, no need to giggle. Because this, if this does not happen, then uh, there would be no life. None of us would exist. No cute puppies, cute rabbits. And things like that. So here's a, a picture. I don't know if you know what you're looking at here, but uh, this is actually an egg cell. And actually on the surface, it just looks like the egg cell surface is really bumpy and everything like that. But on the surface are a bunch of sperm cells, right? So you should know that the egg cell comes from females and the sperm cells come from males. And this is true not just for humans, but for uh, lots of animals out there and insects and everything related. Uh, there's what a whole bunch of them together would look like. And we can get into some other details. The egg cell is actually one of the biggest, it's actually the largest cell in the human body, which is pretty incredible. And which is uh, important because the sperm cell is the smallest cell that is inside the human body. So you have the largest cell and the smallest cell, and they're combining uh, to make you new life basically much bigger than sperm cells so what do both of these cells have in common think about it for a second you can pause right here try to make a list for yourself all right well they both have genetic information nuclei is a fancy way to say more than one nucleus so they both have a nuclei and uh, they contain 23 chromosomes this is a very important number to remember here 23 chromosomes. The reason is, uh, let me try to write over here, if you have 23 chromosomes, all right, the, is the red going to show up here? I hope it does. Oh yeah, good, okay, there's 23 chromosomes that are in the nucleus here, and there's 23 chromosomes that are in the nucleus here. Now these two things are going to combine together, right? Egg plus sperm. When they combine together, well 23 plus 23 makes 46. 46 is a very important number. It's like a magic number for humans. For humans, we have 46 chromosomes in every single one of our cells. So uh, moving on. New life starts when two sex cells join. So each of these is called a sex cell. This is an egg cell, a sperm cell. Another fancy word, uh, I forgot if it's coming up on this PowerPoint, is gamete. Gamete also is a fancy word for sex cell. Another fancy word is germ cell. Uh, that's confusing. When I Germ cell sounds like germs or bugs or bacteria, but in this case when we're talking about germ cell, we're talking about uh, gametes or sex cells. If this is awkward for you to say, then just say gametes. Woohoo! All right, so this is a horrible diagram because it makes the sperm cell look huge in comparison. Well, you can see here's the egg cell. It's covered with probably thousands, if not more, thousands and thousands of sperm cells. What's interesting, we'll get into this more detail later, but out of all these sperm cells that are surrounding this egg cell here, there's only going to be one winner. There's only going to be one winning sperm cell that's going to win and create a new, new individual, but we'll learn about that later. But this diagram, the size is really bad, so whatever, let's uh, ignore that. But we learned this before. Sperm cells are specialized. They're, another word for specialized is differentiated. See if you can spell that. Differentiated means uh, it has a special purpose. You know, it's not just a normal, any kind of cell. It has a tail for swimming. And uh, it's got to swim very long distances. We'll learn about this more later as well, too. Very, swim very long distances. Swim, 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 a whole bunch of them competing, swim, 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 to actually reach the egg. A lot of them, it's like a marathon, a bunch of these will 
uh, not make it. They're gonna they're gonna die, or some of them are gonna swim the wrong direction. Okay, because they don't listen to one direction. Uh, okay. Oh no! You can't. Can you see all that? I gotta erase some of my. Oh no! Oh no! Okay, the nuclei are gonna fuse here. Um, what else we got? Fuse means they're gonna join. This is called fertilization when everything joins together. 23 chromosomes there, 23 chromosomes there, and the total is going to make 46, like we said. Sexual reproduction is when two individuals are involved, and I know you learned this before in elementary school, so sexual reproduction, two individuals are involved, male and female. Asexual is when you do it by yourself to make a baby. Uh, humans can't do this, but this is basically when reproduction happens without the need for two partners. There's lots of examples, a type of bug called an aphid. You can search for this on the internet. Um, find out some more pictures, aphids are pretty cute. Single-celled organisms, single-celled organisms. You should probably write something like that down. Um, bacteria, protists, amoeba, they can also reproduce on their own without the need for a partner. Frog, look at the cute little froggy over here. Oh, where'd it go? Oh, here it is. Oh, oh, look. I can make a little basket. Can we jump into my basket? Come on. Go. Huh? Jump, jump. Yeah! Into my peachy dish. These guys are not asexual. They are sexual organisms. Very sexual organisms. They... Clownfish, even Nemo as a little boy is looking for a female Nemo called Nima. Hold on one second. External fertilization, you're gonna research about this a little bit. External fertilization, Nemo's brothers and sisters all died because all the eggs were like sitting around somewhere and a big ugly fish came and ate them all. All right, it's dangerous, not good. Uh, that's because the sperm and the eggs meet each other outside of the body. Internal fertilization, like these kittens are trying to explain to you. Oops. Internal fertilization is where the sperm and egg must meet inside the body. So try to do a little bit of extra research. Take down some extra notes about that. Okay, that ends everything here. Oh, thank you. I was gonna say bye. Say bye. Bye, bye.